Have you added to it? No, I haven't. Oh, you got it. Right. <laughs> so I, I, I can sing this. This is a song that has been in my mind for a couple of years, but he, Captain Heath said, oh, you can never sing that with, you know, if, if my dad's on board, you don't ever sing that. <laughs> I'm still so pissed off about this whole thing. <laughs> Even though it was none of his fault. So. Uh, here we go. This, this is, is him embellishing the story. I was never <laughs> pissed off. I'm just telling you what he told me. So he said, "You better not let me hear, let my dad hear you sing that." So, so this is a take, a take on the shanty I sang earlier, and the chorus changes about halfway through. So we'll pick it up. Of course. This lady was strolling along the dock. Uh oh, somebody. Uh oh. But then she stumbled and Uh oh, somebody. Uh oh. This happened right by the Gloucester House. Uh oh, somebody. Uh oh. If she wasn't before, she now was souse. Uh oh, somebody. Uh oh. Well, it didn't look like she could swim. Uh oh, somebody. Uh oh. So the lad and mate, he jumped right in. Hold on. Hoorah, somebody, hoorah. He held her up and swam her in. Hoorah, somebody, hoorah. Not too easy, cause she wasn't too thin. Hoorah, somebody, hoorah. The safety officer did his job. Hoorah, somebody, hoorah. A good thing she was Hoorah, somebody, hoorah. Yes, the safety officer saved the day. Oh, hoorah, somebody, hoorah. Our very own Renee McGillivray. <laughs> hoorah, somebody, hoorah. That was one of them large ladies, you know? Those large ladies are all flotation from the waist up. But this one, this one was all ballast from the waist down, and she sunk like a rock. It was a little whirlpool. It was, she went down.